Okay, here is an update on the awesome African wine kettle gourd that is growing in my yard. This is where I had planted it originally back in the spring. That's the main stalk, that's what's feeding all of this. Crazy, beautiful plant. I'll try to get through here. Last time there were three gourds growing. I think there are a few more now. I can see one already. These leaves are huge and lovely. Check that one out. That one's got to be like a foot and a half, if not two feet across. There's a big leaf over here. One I can actually get to, perhaps. Okay. Ta-da! My hand is like six inches long. I have small hands, but... There's my boot next to it. My Rain boot is uh, size uh, eight. All right. Oh, I found a gourd. Look at this. I didn't know this was there. <laughs> this is great. Beautiful. Oh gosh. I hope these. I hope we don't get an early frost this year. It's already November, and these little baby gourds are doing great. That's a small one. Might try to stand that one up later on. And it's going around this loquat tree because gourds need full sun and they're not going to come in here. They don't like the shade. And I dumped some uh, chicken shavings over there and it's interesting how it's avoiding it because it's too high in ammonia content and the plant knows that. That's pretty cool. Trying not to step on the vines as I walk. Alright, now. Here are the big gourds that are growing. Oh, here's a baby gourd. Don't know if this was pollinated or not. This is how they start. They're so fuzzy. And they have a really nice peppery smell to them, which is nice. All right, so we've got this huge, I know the leaves are in the way, and it's still fuzzy. It's a huge gourd, and then there's one behind it, back in there. Too bad I can't upload the smells. I love how this smells. There's a big one flying sideways in the tree, and then there's one that just formed. Now the reason I think that it grew so well up this tree is because these are the flowers, and the flowers are nocturnal, and they open at night, which means they're pollinated by moths, the sphinx moths. And for the ones growing on the ground like this, they don't, the moths don't like to fly low drink from flowers that are low. So it's kind of unusual that that one over there got pollinated. Um, but these flowers that are high in the tree, it's perfect because they're like little hummingbirds. The moths come in and they hover and sip and they prefer flowers that are higher in the air. So any gourd female flower that's in the trees has a much higher chance of getting pollinated than if it was on the ground. I can get in here. Fortunately, there are still weeds growing in here. Let's see about getting in where that one gourd is hanging. There it is. That is huge. Oh my gosh, there's one on the hasty unit. That is great. <laughs> I have been wanting a gourd patch like this 
for years. This is, I don't know how to explain how happy this makes me. This plant is like a dream come true. <laughs> oh man, and it's growing up the thing. Beautiful leaves as the sunlight comes through them. All right. <laughs> Let's see about this huge one. I made it in. Wow, Ooh, fuzzy gourd. <laughs> There's that one. And the big one and the one behind it we saw from the other side. So there's at least four in here. Now we know about that one over there. There's five. And the one growing on the ground, six. Wow. All right. And I spotted a new flower that will open tonight. See if I can find it again. A female flower. Because these are like pumpkins. They have male and female flowers. And you have to have both open at the same time. So they get pollinated. Ah. Nice. This one opened last night. They are so tiny. This one might have been pollinated. It's bigger, so that's a good thing right there. And I could have sworn I saw one that hasn't opened that should be opening tonight. And then uh, this is a male flower. It hasn't opened yet. That'll open tonight. And look really nice. All right. So there we are. Greetings from Dessa's Gourd Patch.